see people just kind of tossing answers around on this without really backing it by solid evidence. So let's look at this objectively. So first off, in a pure physical sense, in other words, if you take two individuals who are following the exact same training and nutrition protocol, with the only difference being that one of them is consistently flogging the dolphin three times a day, while the other is living the full-blown red pill, no fap lifestyle, would there be any difference in muscle growth between the two? Now, there are a variety of studies that have looked into this as far as how masturbation affects testosterone levels. So one of the more well-known papers is a 2003 study on 28 men, where half of them had to keep their wiener fully concealed for an eight day period, while the other half could do with it as they pleased. And in the abstinence group, there was a temporary 45% spike in testosterone. Now that sounds interesting, but the reality is that this study just wasn't very well structured. First off, the masturbatory frequency wasn't specifically measured. They also started on different days of the week, which could have an effect on things depending on how stress levels might fluctuate. And ultimately it was a pretty small sample size over a short time frame. Another study looked at testosterone levels in 10 men before and after a three week period of abstinence. And there was a slight increase after those three weeks. However, once again, the increase was small, temporary, and they only measured the test levels while they were masturbating. Not literally while they were masturbating, but within the same general period. And so it doesn't really tell us the whole story because we don't have a full picture of exactly what was happening from day to day. 